So I'm just going to make use of my wonderful smartphone that I have and the fact that it has two 1080p webcams, well, cameras on it, and just do. I'm just going to do. Because everything I've been watching that's, you know, my little entrepreneurial podcasts and just general things, they all say, stop thinking and just do. So instead of figuring out the best way to record this while my setup is kind of wrecked at the moment, I'm just going to record it with my phone. And I'm going to start putting up some vlogs on my Epos IRL channel, which is a channel that I have not really used before. I put up some of Chu and I's Weekend Adventures from like two years ago on there, and I haven't touched it since. I'm going to be putting up some vlogs when I need to vlog. I, I told myself I needed, well, a lot of people told me, and I told myself I needed to start journaling. And that sounds really silly and maybe even girlish, girly or what have you, but it's more I need a way to write, encourage my writing processes, and get some things off my chest that I deal with throughout life and the semester and how I look like shit. <laughs> um, but I haven't even had time for that, so I figured if I could just do something that I felt was like productive content, aka vlogs that somebody will watch, I will feel more justified to keep doing it. And it gives you all a bit of insight into what's going on with me and Chu and the channel and things like that. My overgrowing facial hair of disgustingness. Um, I will tell you now that there's going to be very, very little admin up on this channel as far as there's not even going to be thumbnails, intros, outros, descriptions probably. It's just going to be, I recorded a video on my cell phone and I'm going to upload it. And that's all I can honestly promise for right now. Again, the whole spiel of, if you want me to have time to do more admin for that kind of stuff, if you want that channel to actually be developed, or any channel, etc. I can just drop my phone, apparently. <laughs> um, if you want me to be able to do more admin stuff, then obviously contribute to the Patreon, things like that. Basically, I need funding to get away from my crappy job, or just my job and do this a bit more full-time, and then I could manage that a bit better. <clears throat> so, yesterday, Chu was absolutely wonderful in letting, in just sitting there and dealing with me for two hours while I put a new cooler on my computer. That is my new computer still open, like the case is still open on both sides over there. Um, I got the front panel open, I've got the cord with my old solid state drive hanging right here. I can stick my hand in the case and get electrocuted. But I was having a lot of heating troubles. That was my number one concern at the moment. I got what's called an AMD FX9590 processor, which is a processor that wasn't even originally going to be sold to consumers to put in custom PCs because it runs so hot and requires so much voltage. First problem, wasn't providing enough power. Needed to get an adapter, had to order it from China. It was cheap, but it, you know, took forever. Got that in. Second issue. It was overheating. It was getting, like, to the melting point of the processor just for rendering one video. It rendered it really, really fast, but it'd die in the meantime. I was told that the cooler that I got, which was an air cooler, but I was told it would work and be a little bit quieter, was the Noctua NHD14. Everybody swears by that cooler and says it's the best cooler in the world. It probably is, but my setup never works as intended. And so, I was literally just overheating like hell. It was, it was bad. And, yeah. So to me, that was the number one issue I needed to address. On top of a potentially failing boot solid state drive, my Kingston HyperX, um, likely failing or potentially failing 2 terabyte hard drive that all of my main YouTube files are on, I needed to address the heating problem. So, despite not having much money, I got a YouTube check-in. Thank you guys for allowing me to do that. And ordered me a Corsair H100i closed loop water cooler. What that basically does is sets up a radiator up here that water runs through and then runs on a little block on the processor and cools the processor through liquid conduction cooling. And it's working amazing. I, I just did a test render right now of a Bulletstorm Let's Play that I've got to either completely re record or do some serious editing to make work because Elgato software screwed that up. Either Elgato software or my hard drive screwed that up. I'm not actually sure which. It could be either or. We saw fucking gnats in this house. Um, and it did great. It took, it was a 30 minute, 32 minute long video. And it took 
about maybe 40 minutes to render, and I render with two-pass rendering, which means it renders through the entire video twice, and I render at maximum render quality. So on my old computer over there, it would have easily taken like four hours to render that video, and it took 40 minutes, and it didn't get anywhere near the temperatures it was getting. Super stoked. Except then I woke up this morning, and blue screen and wouldn't turn on, and now my boot solid state drive was completely dead. Now, this obviously is not a statement about Kingston products at all because they're one of the companies I work very close with and I absolutely love and their products are amazing and they gave me a number for their RMA department so hopefully I can get a replacement drive and I'll just use that as a scratch disc or something. Um, but it just died. I've, I've been getting signs since I started this build that something was going on. It would completely freeze and then the drive just wouldn't be detected in my BIOS or anything and it'd take forever for me to get it running again. But again, the heating melting processor problem was kind of way high on the priority and that was kind of lower because I still got it to work. Well then I woke up this morning keeping in mind that I had to work eight hours today and I have homework due next Wednesday. That's a lot of homework that I needed to have started on today. I've got indie game videos I promised I'd put out. I've got a World of Tanks video I need to get out. And I got a bunch of review products coming on the way. So I have like a workload up to here. And then I wake up this morning and I have to re I have to first of all I have to pull my solid another solid state drive out of my laptop, which is still down there in my floor, because I have to put a new hard drive in it to get my Bitcoin miners up and running again. And so I had to pull a half size, half of the size of this. It's a 120 gig. This is a 240. Solid state drive out of my laptop. Reinstall Windows 8 to it. Try to get all of my programs and settings up and running. Which, if you haven't seen my setup, you probably can't see that. But I have tons and tons of programs and special configuration set up. I literally spent from whenever I woke up at like 10 or earlier until two when I was at work and a little time after now getting all that set back up. Um, so that was not fun and so I haven't really gotten to do any editing and the little editing I did was for that test render for that bullet storm let's play and like I said audio is way out of sync it's not in good condition so that wasn't even all that productive. And now I've got like I said I've got homework I wanted to do this new YouTube Creator Academy boot camp for this year. Well, I got indie games and promised videos of weeks ago, I've got review products coming out soon, I've got all kinds of shit. So I'm going to sit there, or sit here for a bit, turn on a podcast, probably Daft Souls, or Chris Throne Show, take my pad, make me a big O, big O, big O, big O to-do list, and prioritize, and what I need to do in each separate category, because, you know, I've got homework, I've got YouTube, I've got... More important, YouTube, I've got life. I still need to shave. I haven't, this is my finals, I don't have time to shave look, and I need to get rid of it. I need a haircut, although it's not as bad as it normally gets, but I don't want it to get that bad. I've got bug bites on me for some reason. And yeah. I was so excited for how free I would be over the summer, and it's not been free at all. But it will get better. And I have gotten to spend time with you, and I know I'll get to spend more time with you next week, and it's going to be fine. It's just... <sighs> so yeah. So what's going on with me? What's going on with you? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know in the comment section below uh, if you want to see more of these. If this is something you're interested in, if you're... Hopefully you'll subscribe to the IRL channel, just because I'll be putting these up, hopefully, if there's interest. Even if there's not interest, I'll be putting them up, likely. Um, just let me know what you think about them in the comment section below. And like I said, on the off chance you are able to and would like to help allevi alleviate some of the stress, because a lot of it is unfortunately financially, Patreon. Let's go. <laughs> um, as far as parts list for the computer, hopefully Kingston will replace the solid state drive, and like I said, that'll become a scratch disk for my editing software, or a game solid state drive, whichever. Doesn't really matter. It'll help my performance either way. I still need to buy about one, two, three, four ish, maybe five or six, a bunch of Noctua fans because the ones in there are too loud at the moment, especially on the power, on the cooler. The cooler sounds like a helicopter going full speed. It's awful, um, but that's just the fans. I can replace those, so I'm getting some Noctua fans. 
That's easily like 80 bucks of fans, which is ridiculous, but it's necessary. I've got at least three, if not more, two terabyte hard drives. I need to get two for my RAID so I can actually start recording again. One to replace that YouTube drive. Maybe one to replace my documents drive, because it's probably about to fail too, because it it's about the same age as the two terabyte that is dying. Um, and those are about 85 each. Um, and then I've got my graphics card. At some point, that's no longer a top priority because I've already done so much, but at some point I need, uh, I was planning, I mean, this build was supposed to have a 780 Ti in it, and at the moment it still has my 660. So at some point I may do that. Um, but that will be laid way down the road, because that's still like 700 bucks, and I don't have that. Um, but yeah, so, the new Vox rig is getting there. I, I finally got, I don't know if you saw my Instagram post, but I finally got it all stickered up. And so I got my Control Freak, Steel Series, Turtle Beach, Gamer Grub, then some game stickers, Hyper X, and then I got a uh, Tetra Ninja sticker. I won one of his contests. Um, so my sticker. And then I added a couple more to choose computer over there. There's some Control Freak stuff. Um, but yeah, the best way to help out, like I said, Patreon. Don't feel obligated. That's not something I can ask you to feel obligated for. It's just if you do want to, that's where you go. Link will be in the description if I update the defaults for this channel, which I should. And let me know what you think about the vlogs. Sorry this ran so long, but hopefully someone enjoyed or liked it. See y'all later. Goodbye. If I don't drop my phone.